Google Cloud Next 24 with Alok, and he's going to talk to us about scaling and innovating and give some Google Cloud secrets on databases that will disrupt your industry. Alok, thank you so much for being here with us today. Could you give us a brief introduction of yourself, what do you do here at Google, and then a little synopsis of your talk? Absolutely, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm Alok Mulay, I'm the product manager in the database team, and as part of my job, I work with a lot of customers and partners and help them go through the deployment of our databases to solve industry-specific use cases. So as part of my talk, I had two customers on my panel and we discussed the use cases that they had, the fact that they were running into some issues with their current deployment, and the strategy that they followed, the secrets that they had to share to help the community in terms of you know, deploying these databases and making the most out of them. So it was a really interactive session. We got a lot of questions, and I'm happy to dwell into more details in there. Awesome, okay, yeah, and we talked about secrets, so I'm really excited to maybe expose some helpful secrets here. Um, so starting out, right, Google Cloud databases. Can you describe some of the biggest pain points or challenges that organizations face uh, when not using Google Cloud databases and why maybe they switch over? Sure, so you know, the two companies presenting me with me were Palo Alto Networks and ONE. ONE is out of Singapore, it's a shipping and logistics company. So I'll start with Palo Alto Networks. Uh, Palo Alto was running a lot of their databases by themselves, as in self-managed, and there was a ton of operational toil. You know, they were spending a lot of time just making sure that the database are provisioned, they're growing, and they're up and running. And the second thing they had is a lot of complexity in the application, because the databases that they were using were not uh, to the scale that they wanted, so they kept on sharding the databases and had issues in that area. And finally, they really were feeling that they were not ready for the future. With all the competition out there, all the disruptors out there, changing the way the industry works, they wanted to be at the top of their game, and that's where they came to Google Cloud databases. And then finally about uh, ONE, the other customer who was on the panel, they were using commercial databases and with commercial databases, you often have a lock-in scenario. You're stuck with their licensing, costly licensing, costly support. And these guys really wanted to get out of that and get into more of an open source environment. And that's what we offer with Google Cloud Databases. Okay, great. So they have these challenges. How did Google Cloud Database help alleviate some of or solve these challenges? So uh, in the case of Palo Alto Networks, they were running a self-managed Cassandra deployment. And with that deployment, they were responsible for the hardware, they were responsible for keeping it up and running, they were responsible for patching it. And they uh, decided to move to Bigtable, which is essentially the NoSQL offering that started this whole category of databases. And with Bigtable, they were able to reduce their latency by 5x. Uh, they were able to improve their uptime significantly. And the problems that they were facing with their applications uh, reduced by about 50%. And even the cost of running the database was reduced by 50%. So all in all, this was like a no-brainer for them, right? It really helped them solve uh, the problems they were having with their existing environment. And again, in the case of ONE, uh, they had the similar situation where during COVID they had to rapidly increase the size of the database uh, because they were in the shipping and logistics business. And at that time they spent a lot of money on licenses and then they couldn't get rid of them. So this was their opportunity to go to the cloud, use databases that can scale up and down as you need them. And at the same time, you're not locked in, like I said before, because you're using LIDB which is LIDB for Postgres, you know, one of the best implementations of Postgres out there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And so, okay, keeping all of this in mind, right, during your talk you said, you will leave, you'll leave with more than just a blueprint. So, what did you give, you know, what were the details beyond just that blue, uh, blueprint? What was the roadmap that you gave people? What I had both of these customers present was their project roadmap. So, we talked about 
the process that they went through in moving that data over. And like any business critical environment, they couldn't have any downtime, right? They were still serving existing customers and at the same time, you know, trying to change the engines on the aircraft. So in that scenario, we talked about strategies that you can follow, uh, things like dual ride to keep both the environments up and running. We talked about the incentives that Google Cloud provided so that you don't need to make that double investment. So we help in that area as well. We talked about the migration utilities, the expertise that we can provide. So it's a joint uh, you know, partnership that we have with these customers. And that's how we move them into the cloud. Wonderful, great. So you gave you went into the details during the talk, not just high level. I love that, giving people something to walk away with. Uh, in terms of if someone is starting this journey, what is the most crucial first step uh, for those wanting to follow this similar transformation with databases? Right. So, you know, if you think about uh, these environments, and it was mainly database architects and database experts and CTOs who are in the audience, those folks have to get buy-in from the application owner, the line of business owner, when it comes to making these transformations. And those LOB owners or those application owners are at the end of the day looking at how they can essentially have a lower total cost of ownership for their applications. And that's only possible if you're able to use a database that is elastic, highly scalable, and doesn't require a lot of operational toil. So you need to get those application owners on your side, and we are here to help. Like we have database migration assessments that's going to show you how things can improve over three years in terms of TCO, and we'll work with you to build that use case that, or build that, uh, you know, essentially build out that business case, if you will, where you can go in and convince your C-level that you can take up this journey with Google Cloud with confidence. Wonderful. Well, make sure to check out the description as always for lots of helpful links to learn more about this. Alok, thank you so much for being here with us today and chatting with us and have a great rest of your next. Thank you so much.